हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल ऑन इंजीनियरिंग मैथमेटिक्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न टेक्निक टू सॉल्व डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन ऑफ फर्स्ट ऑर्डर एंड फर्स्ट डिग्री बाई क्लासिफाइंग दम इन टू एक्जैक्ट एंड नॉन एक्जैक्ट डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन सो लेट एस फर्स्ट अंडरस्टैंड वॉट आर डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन ऑफ फर्स्ट ऑर्डर एंड फर्स्ट डिग्री वी ऑल नो दैट अ डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन इज एन इक्वेशन इन विच डिफरेंशियल कोइफिशियंट d by dx or d by dy is present and differential equation of first order and first degree is that equation in which differential coefficient appears with first order and first degree look at this differential equation dy by dx is equal to f of x comma y here order of the derivative is 1 as well as its degree is also 1 that is why this differential equation is called as differential equation of first order and first degree for example dy by dx is equal to e raised to x minus y here f of x comma y is e raised to x minus y we are differentiating y with respect to x here in the left hand side its derivative order is 1 as well as its degree is 1 so this is differential equation of first order and first degree look at the another example sec square y into tan x into dy plus sec square x into tan y into dx is equal to 0 all we have to do is a little bit rearrangement of the terms in this differential equation so after rearrangement of the terms we get dy by dx is equal to minus sec square x into tan y upon sec square y into tan x doesn't it look like dy by dx is equal to f of x comma y yes so this is also a differential equation of first order and first degree now let us talk about exact differential equations these are the differential equations which are obtained from its primitive by the mean of differentiation only and without any technique of reduction or elimination of the variables for example if we start with the primitive u is equal to c primitive is nothing but a equation of a surface you can consider so u is a function of say x and y this is our primitive if we use the differentiation technique alone to find the differential equation from this primitive then the obtained differential equation is called as exact differential equation let us find total derivative of this function here total derivative will be du is equal to 0 because c is a constant term total derivative of u with respect to x and y is given by dabba u by dabba x into dx plus dabba u by dabba y into dy is equal to 0 so this differential equation obtained from this primitive by using derivative technique alone is called as exact differential equation let me show you another example here i am considering u as e raised to xy let's find total derivative of this so total derivative of this left hand side can be obtained by formula dabba u by dabba x into dx plus dabba u by dabba y into dy let's substitute for these derivatives dabba u by dabba x will be e raised to xy into y whereas dabba u by dabba y will be e raised to xy into x so this differential equation obtained from this primitive is an exact differential equation because we have used only derivative technique to obtain it note that this differential equation looks like m dx plus n dy here m is y e raised to xy and n is x e raised to xy now let us see necessary and sufficient condition for a differential equation to be exact a differential equation of the type m dx plus n dy is equal to 0 is exact if and only if dabba m by dabba y is equal to dabba n by dabba x therefore this condition is called as necessary and sufficient condition for a differential equation of this type to be exact let us see the previous example once again we have already seen that this differential equation is obtained from its primitive so we already know that this is a exact differential equation but let's prove it with the help of this necessary condition when we compare this differential equation with m dx plus n dy is equal to 0 we get m is equal to y e raised to xy and n is equal to x e raised to xy 
let's differentiate m with respect to y keeping x constant we have to apply u into v rule of derivative to differentiate m with respect to y so we get dabba m by dabba y as e raised to xy plus y into e raised to xy into x you can pause the video and check the calculations similarly when we obtain dabba n by dabba x keeping y constant with the help of u into v rule of derivative we get dabba n by dabba x is equal to e raised to xy plus x into e raised to xy into y now check that values of these two derivatives are same so we say this differential equation is exact according to this necessary condition for differential equation m dx plus n dy is equal to zero to be exact i hope you understood that now let us talk about solution to exact differential equations a differential equation of the type m dx plus n dy is equal to zero if it is exact then its solution is given by the formula integration of m dx treating y constant plus integration of terms in n which are free from x into dy is equal to c where c is integration constant all we have to do is we have to take integrand m in the first term and in the second term we have to take terms in n which are free from x as your integrand and we have to integrate it with respect to y is equal to integration constant c we have to write this is how you can write the general solution to exact differential equation let me help you out with the help of example consider the previous differential equation we already saw that this is an exact differential equation here m is y e raised to xy n is x e raised to xy let us substitute these m and terms in n which are free from x over here and write the general solution for it so integration of m dx is integration of y e raised to xy dx and since there is no term in n which is free from x so we take zero as integrand for the second term is equal to integration constant c now let's integrate this first term keeping y constant so since y is constant you can take it out integration of e raised to xy with respect to x is e raised to xy upon y is equal to integration constant c this y gets cancelled we get e raised to xy is equal to c now here at this point i want you to remember we have started with the primitive e raised to xy is equal to c so we see that the solution to the exact differential equation is nothing but its primitive now let us see more examples on this in this first example we are given a differential equation x minus 2 e raised to y into dy plus y plus x into sin x dx is equal to 0 we have to find the solution to this differential equation since this differential equation looks like m dx plus n dy we compare it with this and we get m is equal to y plus x sin x and n is equal to x minus 2 e raised to y now to check whether it is exact or not we will first find partial derivatives of m and n with respect to y and x respectively so dabba m by dabba y here i could see is 1 alone since x is constant derivative of second term is zero so derivative of y is one alone similarly dabba n by dabba x when obtained you will get it is equal to one because y is constant so derivative of this second term is zero and since their values are same we say dabba m by dabba y and dabba n by dabba x are equal so we conclude that the given differential equation is an exact differential equation now we write general solution to this differential equation by the formula integration of m dx treating y constant plus terms in n uh, plus integration of terms in n free from x into dy is equal to c substituting for m here we get integration of y plus x sin x and substituting from terms in n which are free from x we get plus integration of minus 2 e raised to y dy is equal to c now let's integrate these two terms 
इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ वाई विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू एक्स इज एक्स वाई टू इंटीग्रेट एक्स साइन एक्स विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू एक्स वी हैव टू अप्लाई इंटीग्रेशन बाय पार्ट्स रूल कंसिडरिंग यू एज एक्स एंड वी एज साइन एक्स वी गेट इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ एक्स साइन एक्स एज माइनस एक्स कॉस एक्स प्लस साइन एक्स ऑल्सो इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ माइनस टू ई रेस टू वाई विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू वाई इज माइनस टू ई रेस टू वाई अगेन इज इक्वल टू इंटीग्रेशन कॉन्स्टेंट सी दिस इज सोल्यूशन टू द गिवन डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन आई होप यू अंडरस्टूड हाउ वी ऑप्टेन द सोल्यूशन टू द गिवन डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन ओवर हियर लेट मी शो यू वन मोर एग्जाम्पल ऑन इट हियर वी हैव गिवन द डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन वन प्लस ई रेस टू एक्स बाय वाई इंटू डी एक्स प्लस ई रेस टू एक्स बाय वाई इंटू वन माइनस एक्स बाय वाई डी वाई इज इक्वल टू जीरो वी हैव टू ऑप्टेन इट सोल्यूशन वी डोंट नो वेदर इट इज एन एक्जैक्ट डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन और नॉट इफ इट इज एक्जैक्ट वी नो द फॉर्मूला टू फो राइट इट सोल्यूशन सो लेट एस फर्स्ट कंपेयर दिस डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन विथ एम डी एक्स प्लस एन डी वाई इज इक्वल टू जीरो एंड कैलकुलेट डबा एम बाय डबा वाई एंड डबा एन बाय डबा एक्स इफ दे आर सेम we say that the given differential equation is an exact differential equation after comparison we get m is equal to this first bracket where n is equal to this term e raised to x by y into 1 minus x by y calculating dabba m by dabba y we get it is e raised to x by y into minus x by y square since we are differentiating it with respect to y derivative of 1 is 0 derivative of e raised to x by y is e raised to x by y into by chain rule derivative of x by y is minus x by y square now dabba n by dabba x is by using u into v rule of derivative e raised to x by y into derivative of x by y with respect to x is 1 by y into second term as it is plus keeping first term e raised to x by y as it is derivative of 1 minus x by y is minus 1 by y simplifying this we get dabba n by dabba x is e raised to x by y into minus x by y square observe that these two values are same so dabba n by dabba y and dabba n by dabba x are same so we conclude that the given differential equation is an exact differential equation now now we write solution to this exact differential equation with the help of this formula integration of m dx becomes integration of 1 plus e raised to x by y dx and since there are no terms in n which are free from x we take zero as an integrand in the second term is equal to integration constant c now integrating this term with respect to x we get integration of 1 as x and integration of e raised to x by y as e raised to x by y upon 1 by y which is y into e raised to x by y integration of 0 is 0 c remains as it is so we say that this is solution to the given differential equation i hope you understood all the steps involved in this solution now i have two examples for you you can pause the video and note down these equations and try to solve these equations on your own so these are diy questions this is question number 3 and this is question number 4 i hope guys you understood technique to solve exact differential equations please do subscribe my channel for more such interesting videos thank you all of you